Total risk is composed of systematic risk and unsystematic risk. Systematic risk refers to the risk that will affect all firms, and that's why we call it market risk. Why? Because it will affect the entire market. If you study macroeconomics, so all macroeconomics indicators are considered an example of systematic risk, which means exchange rate, interest rate, inflation rate, unemployment rate, the stage of the business cycle, all this affects all firms, and that's why all these are considered examples of systematic risk. While unsystematic risk, it affects a certain firm or a certain sector, but it doesn't affect all firms, and that's why we call it firm risk. An example of this one, let's assume that the government decided to penalize polluting industries by paying higher taxes. So this will affect only polluting industries, but it will not affect all companies. Therefore, which type could be avoidable? Unsystematic risk could be avoided, that's why we call it avoidable risk. While systematic risk is unavoidable, and that's why we call it unavoidable risk. So how are we going to avoid unsystematic risk? Through diversification. Which means, don't put all your eggs on the same basket. This means, every time you invest, you need to invest in different sectors, and within each sector, you need to invest in different companies. That's why unsystematic risk is also called diversifiable risk. While systematic risk is called non-diversifiable. Another synonymous for unsystematic risk is called idiosyncratic risk. Therefore, we know that we could avoid unsystematic risk if we have a well-diversified portfolio, which means if we invest in different sectors and within each sector we invest in different companies. Therefore, we will end up with systematic risk. So, how do we measure systematic risk? Systematic risk is measured through beta. So what do we mean by beta? Beta is a measure of systematic risk. Then we have total risk, which is measured through volatility or standard deviation. Remember that standard deviation is a statistical terminology, while volatility is a finance terminology. But both of them are exactly the same. So volatility is the same as a standard deviation. And both of them has a symbol of sigma. So let's draw it. On our x-axis, we have number of securities. Our y-axis, we have our volatility. Therefore, the bottom part is our systematic risk, which is the risk that couldn't be avoided. Then, the more we invest in securities, and we had an empirical study around 30 securities, and these securities are not strongly correlated, they are weakly or negatively correlated, we'll discover that our unsystematic risk decreases the more we add more securities to our portfolio. And that's why we could avoid unsystematic risk, but we cannot avoid systematic risk.